Hey everybody, welcome to our channel. We just wanted to do episode number one of Coffee in Christ with a little get to know us. I've got four questions here that Ron and myself are going to answer. And uh, we actually didn't coordinate our colors, but we, we look like... It looks pretty good, man. Yeah, for episode number one, we're matching. Yeah, we're maroon guys. Yeah. Not to be mistaken for crimson. Yeah, right, right. We don't, we don't want any of that. All right, Ron, here's the first question. Uh, question number one, what is your favorite scripture? My favorite scripture, can I have this book here? Well, I would hope so. It is Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 11. Why don't you read that for us? Have this attitude in yourselves, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, although he existed in the form of God, did not regard equality with God a thing to be grasped, but he emptied himself Taking the form of a bondservant, being made in the likeness of men, being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. For this reason, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow of those who are in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and that every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. It's a great passage. Have the attitude of Christ, emptied himself, became a servant. Isn't that what we're supposed to do? Absolutely, absolutely. My favorite passage is a little bit shorter. Yeah, what's uh, that? Proverbs 14, 23, it says, in all hard work there is profit, and mere talk leads only to poverty. And I think that's a, that's a good rule. That's a good model of the talk, because yeah. I like to talk. Yeah, me too, <laughs> me too. All right, question number two. Uh, you are the pulpit minister here at Salem Creek Church of Christ, but what is it that made you want to be a minister? Ooh-wee. Well, I think about another statement in the Bible that says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it's the power of God and true salvation, Romans chapter 1 and verse 16. Mm -hmm. And so by preaching the gospel, we have a unique opportunity to share good news with people so they can take care of sin through the blood of Christ and so they can have a relationship with God. Yeah, uh, I'm the associate minister here at Salem Creek and what made me want to be a minister is uh, when I was 16 years old, a gentleman told me, if you take your greatest talent and the world's greatest need and put them together, you'll never have a question as to what you're supposed to do for the rest of your life. My greatest talent, we talked about liking to talk. Yeah. That's my that's my talent. I love that's, talking. That, that can be a blessing, you know. But somebody said one time that if you love what you do, you never go to work a single day in your life. Right. And I don't feel like I've been to work a single there day. There you go. Uh, there you go. Yeah. All right. Question number three, Ron. Uh, how long have you been working at Salem Creek or with this congregation? Because Salem Creek has only been here for, what, two years nearly? Two years. We were in Minerva Drive forever. And we moved to work with the Minerva Drive Church in the second Sunday of January, 1985. So we have just completed 33 years. Wow, wow. Uh, I've been here for two and a half years. So yeah. not, not 33 years, but we're a day closer than we were yesterday. Well, there you go. All right, last question for you, Mr. Ron. Uh, what is your hidden talent? Well, I could say, I don't have any talents or whatever, but I have something I love to do. Some people know about it, a lot of people don't, but it has a lot of connections with the Bible. We, my wife and I are in the process of learning how to make pottery. So we love to sit at the potter's wheel with a lump of clay and try to get something out of it. What does that remind you of in the Bible? Yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely Jeremiah, right? Where yeah. you know, we go to the potter's house and, and uh, this is what Israel's like, you know, you try and you try and then you just got to destroy it and rebuild it again. And that's what God, I think, does with us. And we're, we're clay in the hands Absolutely. of the Master Potter. Absolutely. Um, for me, I, I'm a pretty much an open book. I don't know that I have any hidden talents. I play five instruments. Yeah, that I play radio. Something. Yeah, well, <laughs> that may be something people don't really know about me. Uh, we wanted to do this video just so you can get to know us. You know, yeah, we work here and yeah, we're ministers, but we are not spiritual superheroes. We're just regular people who are trying to get to heaven, and we want you to be a part of that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around for more like this. We're just going to be two guys talking about biblical principles, and uh, we want you to come to church here. 
We're at Salem Creek Church of Christ in Murfreesboro. You can find us on the internet, our website. You can find our Facebook page. Uh, get in touch with us. Let us know what you think. So, uh, Come Mr. see Ron, us. We're people just like you are. Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Ron, for Thank sharing you. a little bit with, of yourself with us. Uh, we look forward to seeing you.